Hey everybody, so today's quick tip is for two axis profiling when you want to ramp back and forth in order to machine a slot. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now I did draw this part as a solid. Again, you can work off a wireframe or solid. In today's example, I'm just gonna work off the wireframe. Okay, now I've added some dimensions so you can get an idea of the size of slot that we're trying to machine here and the size of material that we're working in. Now this application, you could use it for metal, plastic, wood, uh, really doesn't matter. And the idea is we're gonna use a tool that is the same size as our slot and we just want the tool to ramp back and forth in order to cut the slot. Okay, now at this point we do have a job set up and we have our zero programmed. What we want to do is load a two axis feature, mill two axis. We're going to go to select geometry. All right. Now, because we're working with wireframe, what we want to do is a chain selection. Uh, so you can click around the profile as such and grab each of the entities, or the other option would be to hold down shift on your keyboard and left click on the profile. Okay. So I'm going to use shift left click on these other two profiles. Again, I wanna look at my lead in position. I want these all to be cutting counterclockwise. I'm gonna choose the top of the radius here, uh, even though the lead in uh, position doesn't matter so much when we're gonna ramp back and forth. Either it's gonna start on this side or it's gonna start on that side. Okay, um, our depth, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure how deep, uh, let's just go 3 8 and we'll click OK. So we have our geometry selected, we have our direction of cut, and we also have our depth. Uh, again, we'll go to our machining strategy. We're going to be using a rough routine here. This is going to be a half inch cutter is fine. OK, now for the pattern, when you're dealing with profiles, you have three types of patterns, standard, contour, ramping, and side roughing. In today's example, we're going to use contour ramping, which is going to allow us to ramp back and forth. Uh, we'll set our system comp to left, which is the default. Uh, we do want to get into the parameters here. We're going to zero any side allowance. And then what we're going to do is set how much we want to take per pass. I'm just going to set it to 50 and we'll go ahead and hit compute. And really that's it. Uh, once we set this to a ramping profile, uh, the tool is, or contour ramping, the tool is just gonna ramp back and forth to get down to the bottom. Uh, if you wanna cut more aggressively, you can come back in and edit your parameters for how much you wanna take per pass. If you wanna cut less aggressively, uh, you can uh, increase or decrease that number as necessary. So this is just a fast way to get the tool to ramp back and forth uh, in order to cut your slots.